The Stanley 113 compass plane is really one of my favorites. It comes apart pretty obviously, most of the screws and bolts easily coming out, but taking the sole off was a bit tricky. Um, I found that there were two pins that you could easily push out as long as you had a hole to drive them through. The sole is dovetailed into the body, and with a bit of uh, coercion, it came loose as well. Makes it a lot easier to then clean out the rust and uh, prepare it for a new life. This bolt had never come loose, and it was a pain. <laughs> but with that, everything was apart and uh, ready to go into the vinegar bath. The bath is 50% vinegar, 50% water, and I let everything soak in that for about 24 hours. It uh, loosens up the rust and makes it all very easy to clean with a wire brush. Speaking of which, once I pull it out, uh, take it over, rinse it off, and wire brush everything down. Uh, make sure to get all the little ins and outs and clean all the rust out. Now because I'm soaking it all in water, I have to make sure it's completely dry and oiled. And uh, rust prevention at that point is very important. But if it's not getting oiled, it's going to get painted. So we mask it all off and I hit it with a coat of Rust-Oleum. This is the shop blue that I have and uh, it goes on all my main shop tools. For the gears, I ran it all the way to one side, painted a coat, and then ran the gears all the way to the other side and painted another coat, and then repeated the process, two full coats. I love this point where you get to take the tape off and see what is underneath, and uh, the plane really starts to come together and look good. Everything that is moving gets 3-in-1 uh, oil, just to make everything lubricate well, but it also helps um, keep the rust off. It's always something you're thinking about. The sole goes back on just as it came off, um, sliding dovetail and putting the pin back in place. It goes back in a lot easier than it came out. Just line the pin up and drive it in. Try not to bend it over though. The iron was in very good shape, so I basically just had to flatten it and resharpen it. I love this sharpening station. I'm so glad that I made it. It, is, it has made everything so much easier. So the actual use is pretty straightforward. You set the uh, you set the bed to the uh, the curvature that you want, and you uh, go to town. You notice that I um, I only go halfway, so I'm not running up the grain. But on that side it's not cutting, and on this side it is cutting. So that means that the, the curvature needs to be adjusted on the side I'm currently working on. And you just keep going on it until it stops cutting, and that means you are at the curvature you're looking for. You can see there I've basically hit where I need to be. It gives you a really nice, clean, smooth curve very easily. Uh, not only does it look great, it also works fantastically, and I am I'm in love with it. So, this is something I'm definitely going to be using a lot more, and uh, a great addition to the shop. I have really been wanting one of these for a long time. Uh, the Stanley 113 is just a really cool plane. It's the type of thing that you put in your shelf and it just looks awesome. But it is so usable it, and it has so many possibilities. Uh, this was a pleasure to rebuild. And a little bit about the background on it. Um, Matthew, Brent, and Johnny, um, uh, three boys of, uh, of a friend I have, um, got this for me. And one of them, 10 years old, made this handle on here, which you may have seen pictures of that. Uh, he did an absolutely awesome job. The original handle had, uh, had disappeared and he took a handle from some other plane and shaped it up and created a screw for it and did an awesome job on it. And I just have to say kudos. That's something I'm going to love and I'm going to keep on there for a long time. It feels really good too. I mean, that's... I wish that more 113s had a wooden handle. That is very, very cool.
So um, this is the, the first model um, of the adjustable compass plane that Stanley made. They made several other renditions after it to make it a lot easier. Um, the adjustment mechanism is just kind of a pain um, and it has a lot of little tweaking. It takes a little bit longer to set up, but once you get it set up, it is a fantastic plane and it goes to town. As you can see, those are the stretchers for a dresser that I'm currently building and it whips them out perfectly. Um, yeah, I'm going to use this quite a bit. This is a really, really fun plane, and it's going to look good on my shelf. So um, if you have any ideas about the, uh, the restoring or anything I could have done better, please let me know. I'd love to hear your ideas. Um, I'm always learning new ideas from people that say, hey, maybe you should try this next time, and uh, I learn a lot from that. So please let me know. And if you liked what I've done, please hit the like button or subscribe, and feel free to check out one of my other videos. You might find something you like. Until next time. Have a wonderful day.